the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. And tonight our broadcast will be shifting to Denver, where we'll see the Nuggets going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. And for New Orleans, you look at how this roster is constructed, the types of plays they run, they're looking to match up well against every style of opponent, and tonight will be a great test of that. And no longer a secret weapon, Nikola Jokic. Kenny, for those who love great passing, he's something special to watch. Yes, he is. Best playmaking big man at the five spot, period. I'm going to wow. go out there. Playmaking. Surprises even his teammates with his passes at times. Also, Kenny, dangerous shooter. Sees the game at a different level. Yeah, he's good. No Jokic. <laughs> no Jokic. No Jokic. It's like, no Get joke. it? No joke, no Jokic. No <laughs> Stock brokage. He kills himself. <laughs> the beautiful skyline of Denver, Colorado is our backdrop tonight. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. It's a Nuggets home game. The fans around us are amped up here in the Pepsi Center. Tonight featuring backcourts that can absolutely, Steve, light it up. When you were playing, who are some of the toughest guards to defend in the NBA? Well, Kevin, first you say to Michael Jordans, but the quick guards, because I was a 6'8", kind of methodical, slow guy. I didn't like the Iversons, the Muggsy Bogues, all those guys that just running around. They were tough. <laughs> and the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Holiday out there with Ball. And there's the bulldozer. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Hayes in at the five down low. And Jokic slams it in. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. Here's Williamson. Passes to Holiday. For Murray. The shot by Holiday. No good. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up with the Nuggets to the paint. That's good from Harris on the assist by Murray. And the precise passing of Murray, really moving the ball well around the floor. Ball against Murray. Now, here's Ball. Defense is right there, over to the left wing. Just five to shoot. They get it back. Hey. And he can't bank that one in. This is the opposite of how they wanted to start this game. 0 for 4 already. Porter kicks to Harris. And there's the pass to Millsap. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Millsap's got his first two points. If you're guarding Paul Millsap, what you have to recognize, he does a good job of camouflaging his moves. Inside, Millsap with the steal. Harris looking it over. Pass to Millsap. He kicks it to Murray. Pass to Jokic over Hayes. He can't get it to go. And New Orleans will come the other way. Inside, here's Ingram, and the layup's good off the glass. That breaks their string of misses. Now one for five. You can feel their sense of relief. Harris passes to Millsap. Passes it to Murray. Back to Porter. 
Six to shoot. And the pass to Jokic. Yep, that one goes in there. Ah, they already got into a nice flow. Four for five from the field. Pass to Williamson. Dishes it to Holiday. Ball kicks to Ingram. Pass to Holiday. Puts up a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Holiday's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Left side, Porter. Shoots over Ingram, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Pelicans trail by three. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the Denver Nuggets get called for the foul. Pelican shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. That free throw, no good. The Pelicans, they've seen improvement over the past few seasons. Offense has become more and more efficient. Defensively have gone from a poor defensive team to a top 10 defensive team in just one season. He hits the second from the line. And see, with the Pelicans' improvement, a lot of it has to do with the work their players have put in. Two guys that come to mind for me are Drew Holiday and Etwan Moore. Both those guys have improved a lot. The team's had a plan to improve for several years now, and they stuck with it. A lot of franchises might have demanded overnight success, but the Pelicans' front office avoiding rushing progress. For three, Murray. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Holiday, the pass to Williamson. Now, here's Ball. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Holiday inside the line. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. And this game is tied up now. For Denver, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Murray kicks to Harris. That's tipped. And it's Harris with the ball for Denver. Passes it to Millsap. Launches a three. No good there. For New Orleans, they've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And so it's New Orleans with it. Ingram passes to Williamson. Count that one. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Denver's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Earlier, David Aldridge had a chance to speak with head coach Alvin Gentry. DA, what'd you find out? Well, Kevin, we talked about how they'll play offensively, and it seems straightforward. Get to the rim. He told me, as you know, we're a team with the athleticism and the ability to make plays inside. They'll try to exploit that until they adjust. Kevin, no doubt about it, he wants his guys attacking early and often. Thanks so much, David. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Last season, Drew Holiday had a breakout year. The UCLA product had career highs in scoring and efficiency. A lot had to do with he played off the ball. He played a lot of two-guard.
outside Millsap. And there's the foul. It's on the bulldozer. That is his first foul of the game. And Smitty, as we were talking about Holiday spending more time at shooting guard lately. But what I like, Kevin, he was still able to create for others effectively. The move allowed him to be much more aggressive in looking for his shot. People weren't sure of the change at first, but he looks right at home when he's playing off the ball. Here's Ball, following the basket by Paul Milson. He's in the post. He's against Jokic. Three-pointer on the way. And another three for New Orleans. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Trying to find Murray, and he gets it to him. Yep, that one goes. Murray's got his first points in this one. And the confidence from Murray, just so efficient from the interior. Porter against Ingram. Outside Holiday. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer. And Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds in this game. Taken away by Holiday. There's the pass to Williamson. Back to ball. Pass to Williamson. Second chance shot, and it's good on the layup. The bulldozers got five. Amazing how he gets this one to go. Size doesn't matter. But it can in the painted area. Regardless, he's crafty enough to get up a good shot. Now here's Murray. Millsap in the corner. Shot clock at five. Over Williamson. And it's Williamson with the rebound. And this is a guy that can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball, contesting the mid-range jumper as well. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. Here's Porter. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And this is a guy who just naturally draws fouls at a very high rate. That time, Porter takes him off the bounce. And great with Michael Porter, combining the length, athleticism, and scoring ability, he's a rare prospect. I mean, in high school, he was the number one prospect on a lot of people's lists. Had the back injury in his only year of college. But everyone knew what he could do when given the chance. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. Steve, more and more we hear about players wanting to be traded. The information comes out publicly, whether they leak it or their agent leaks it. Is this a new development? in your opinion yeah i think because of social media kevin right now everybody hears a little bit and even if it's true or not true it gets spread like wildfire and it can reach so many different people because of social media quickly and i think that's the problem we're having right now it's you know social media can be a plus but it also can be a negative it's a good observation and Michael Porter, he has the natural attributes of an elite scorer. He's got incredibly deep range. You, you can see that all the way back in high school. Almost automatic from mid-range. And as he adds strength, he'll become a force inside as well. Just doing the job on the backboard. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And he's got a great balance of, of knowing when to slash inside. Porter needs to keep being this aggressive on the drop. Now here is Holiday. Ten points for him. Here's Williamson. And Hart has it in the corner. No good with the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Porter finds Barton. Tipped away. 
And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. The Nuggets making a switch here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. And Plumley kicks to Hernan Gomez. Rocket six. That's a floater go, and it's Beasley laying it in. And that makes it a tie ball game. Yeah, going to the floater right there. That was pretty. Holiday against Barton. Holiday, the pass to Reddit. Here's Williamson. Unloads from 13. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Early in this quarter, he's been aggressive and selective with his shots. Tremendous efficiency. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Guarded closer. It's Beasley on the wing. Shoots over Reddick. Rebounded by Hart. And that can't happen. Missing the wide open chip shot. Mm -mm -mm. Kicks to Holiday. Pass to Williamson. Second shot opportunity. Outside, Reddick. Holiday against Barton. Right side Reddick over Beasley, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Sometimes there's nothing you can do to stop Reddick. He'll nail those even if you're all over him. Grant down low. It's blocked, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. Each one more is checked in for New Orleans. One thirty-three left in the first quarter. Beasley with a clean look. And again, Denver no good. New Orleans leading by four. Passes it to Williamson. To the wing on the left. Here's Hart. He's covered by Grant. And Reddick kicks to Favors. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And J.J. Redick, a longtime vet in the NBA, but still plays with a lot of energy. And Redick said he feels like he's been revitalized in the last few seasons with his change of scenery. Playing with more joy and has always been explosive off the ball in his efforts to get open. You can see when he's on the floor, the whole offense seems to pick up their energy. The free throw drops for Reddick. And Alvin Gentry's been coaching in the NBA for almost three decades now. Steve, he knows how to get things done. And a lot of what Gentry does is gives his players freedom. As long as they take care of business, he won't meddle too much. Does a great job of managing personalities and keeping egos in check. And both free throws good for Reddick. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Barton finds Plumley, And here is Grant. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. No good on that one. That was against good defense. He tried to sneak it in, though. We've seen him do it plenty of times. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. New Orleans leading by six. Outside, Reddick. The pass to Williamson. Down to five on the shot clock. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession.
Denver's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Reddick against Barton. Down low. Got a hand on it. And that does it for the first quarter. Pelicans lead by six. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? Protecting that rim early on, uh, that's been a big factor for them tonight. Well, you can erase a lot of defensive mistakes when you have shot blockers lurking in the background. Here's Barton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. They've got Beasley. He's out there with Will Barton. Hudley out there with Grant. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the four. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Hart kicks to Moore. To the inside. Knocked loose. Grant against Moore. Easily up top. Pass to Barton. Six to shoot. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. They get Derek Favors. And when it comes to big men who can really handle the basketball, uh, there aren't many of them, but there are a few, and they're pretty good at it, the bigs. You know, I think uh, the best at this, and we don't consider him a big, but he's close to seven feet, Shoot is two. Kevin Durant right. handling the basketball for a big. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins is really good. Uh, you look at guys like LaMarcus Aldridge, not bad. Blake Griffin, for his size, being able to handle the basketball. We have so many guys that have that skill set, and they're 6'10 and above. And he's good on the second. New Orleans leading by three. To the left side wing. Hart. And the three off target. But I get shooting 43% for the game. To the middle. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The Nuggets have made two and missed two at the line tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now here's Reddit. Here's Williamson. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. The Bulldozers got nine points. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Here's Grant. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And that one is good by Beasley. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. And Reddick kicks to Favors. Down low. And it's Denver with the rebound. Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position. Does a good job of affecting the shot without fouling. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. 
And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Happy. Here's Williamson. He's got nine. Not a big threat from out there. You see why the defense backed off a little. And Beasley, here we go. The feet to Plumlee. Floats one. Crank with the bucket, getting it done inside. And now a three-point nugget lead. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Moore dishes to Fakers. Here's Hart. He's covered by Grant. Four on the clock. Pulls it from 20. And Derek Fabers picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. A different look for Denver. Jokic comes in for Plumlee, and Murray's subbed in for Beasley. The Pelicans also changing it up. The Beast comes in for the Bulldozer, and Ball subbed in for Hart. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. To the left side wing. Jokic passes to Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. And the D has no answer for Murray. Just absolutely ferocious at attacking the basket. Ball against Murray. And the call up against Jokic. That's his first foul for the Nuggets. Paul Millsap's checked in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Gary Harris in for Jeremy Grant. And New Orleans also making a change. Ingram's checked in. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Count that one. And it's easy to see just how dangerous Ingram is in the pick and roll. His size, the long arms, the shooting ability. The D has no clue as to what to do. Here's Jokic. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. And that one's good, Jokic. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Smitty, you had an, an unbelievable career. Was there any chance or opportunity that you did not take that you wish you had? You know, Kevin, is, is three of them. One, um, I had a chance to be traded to the New York Knicks. I always wondered what it would be like to play in New York. They called that the Mecca. I didn't take that chance. I think second uh, was to get a chance to play overseas at the end of my career. I think those are the two things that I wish I had a chance to go back. I would make a different choices. And so it's New Orleans with it. Fade away. And with that, the Denver lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Ingram. And Ingram hits these mid-range jumpers in his sleep. The defense can't allow him to get going from there. Harris kicks to Murray. Barton outside. Back to Murray. Shot clock at six. And that's a foul called on the Beast. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Denver making a switch here. Porter's checked in. On defense, New Orleans. They trail by three, and it's blocked. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Here's Ingram, and it's New Orleans scoring again. 
His temperature is rising. I mean, it is rising. For Denver, they've gotten nearly everything to fall for them here in the second quarter. They're a great seven of eight from the floor. Outside Porter. Jokic kicks to Porter. Here's Millsap. Here's Jokic. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And that one is good. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Pelicans trail by three. Here's Ball. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Fabers. Over Jokic, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. You have to respect Favors. His jumper is lights out. Murray kicks to Jokic. Out to Harris. But Trey, that's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Harris has got five. The defense disrespecting his range. He goes ahead and buries it. Ingram outside. Goes up at the stripe. The shot misses. And it's Denver the other way. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Gary Harris, a 6'4 shooting guard out of Michigan State. On paper, you might call him undersized, but with his strength and toughness, he's got it covered. Shooting two. That's good from Harris. And if you're making a list of the best young shooting guards in the league, Greg, I, I got to think that Gary Harris is on that list. Absolutely. A two-way player defends his tail off, and offensively, he can score at all three levels. New Orleans making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. And Harris drops them both. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Ball kicks to Ingram. Passes it to Hayes. Ingram outside. Now the pass to Ball. Here's Favors. It's Hayes, top of the key. Five on the clock. And Gary Harris is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Harris against Ball. Softly drops in the floater. Ball's got his first bucket in this one. And how clever is this guy? I mean, just no fear going with the soft, high-arcing floater. Here's Jokic and the rejection by Fields. And he recovers it. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. It's going to be Jokic shooting. They get Derek Favors. And Nikolai Jokic came late to the game. Uh, he actually grew up horse racing. Finally started playing organized hoops at the age of 16. You'd never know it, though one of the most skilled big men the league has to offer. One shot. And Jokic, Greg, said he was a fat point guard until he got taller. Well, even now, Kevin, Jokic, not the most chiseled physique, but the point guard background makes sense. His playmaking for a center is off the charts. The chemistry Favors has with his teammates is outstanding. Really punches the basket through the rim on these alley-oop jams. Murray, the pass to Porter. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Nuggets have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. Shooting two.
He's off on the first. Yeah, a former five-star recruit. We know about the talent level with Porter, but he's also a mature, hard-working guy. And the second free throw, good. And so it's New Orleans with it. Ball kicks to Holland. Pass to Favors. Now Ball. Jokic defending. Ingram with it. Puts up a three. Hayes controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Now here is Harris. Seven points in the game. Let's it go with a three. Another shot. In deep. Jokic pops it in. Jokic has got 13. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. So here is New Orleans. Six-point game. Ball against Murray. And it's sent back by Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Ball kicks to Ingram. To favors with the fadeaway rebound by Murray right idea but just too much heat on him defensively even with the fadeaway here is outside back to Murray six on the shot clock shoots the three Good on the three-point shot. And now it's an 11-point nugget lead. Really enjoy seeing Murray operate in these types of situations, just keeping his composure and draining the high-pressure shots. Now here is Holiday. Ten points for him to end the run. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Very well-executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And taking a look back at his performance at the line a year ago, a rock solid 79%. And Drew Holiday, Steve, is such a huge factor on the defensive end whenever he's on the floor. You know, it's been a focus for him to step his game up on that end of the floor. He moves his feet so well that guys can't just blow by him. Numerically, the way he discourages shots at the rim, it's like having a defensive center on the floor. Porter, no luck. Pelicans trail by eight. Fires from the wing. And Holiday with the basket on the assist from Favors. 15 points for Drew Holiday. The pull-up game of Drew Holiday is on point. Showing good balance and good touch. Back to Murray. He kicks it to Millsap. Pass to Jokic. Back to Millsap. Takes a three. Another three for Denver. 
Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. New Orleans gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Ball, the pass to Holiday. And here's Hayes. Back to Holiday. From beyond the arc, it's hauled in by Harris. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. 139 left in the first half, and it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. The Nuggets have hit six free throws in ten attempts. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as Take a, a team. Break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls for the Nuggets. Plumlee is jacked in for Jokic. Ernan Gomez comes in for Paul Millsap. And it's Jeremy Grant in for Porter. And then for New Orleans, the bulldozer, he's jacked in for Favors. Josh Hart comes in for Brandon Ingram. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Ball. And Harris drops them both. Pelicans trail by 11. Got a piece of it. Doubled by Plumley. Here's Williamson, and it's New Orleans scoring again. Now Murray. He's got seven. Kicks it to Plumley. Harris outside. Back to Plumley. Out left to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Holiday looking over the floor. Here's Hart. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very patient, waiting for someone to break free. Murray kicks to Hernan Gomez. Redick against Harris. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Harris. Martin's checked in for the Nuggets. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And there's the pass to Williamson. New Orleans moving the ball around. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Harris. There's 25 seconds left now here in the second. Barton against Howard. Pass to Plumley. Easily outside. Five to shoot. Buries it down low. Beasley's got the lead up to 11 now for Denver. And so it's Denver. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. 
Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Some incredible work in this one by Nikola Jokic. He ended up with 15 points, 4 assists, and 1 steal. His great performance last game out seemed to carry right over into tonight. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. Well, Jokic in the first half continues to outperform expectations. Uses positioning and angles rather than quickness to win battles. And his floor vision on both ends is absolutely fantastic. Kenny, let's get your opinion on New Orleans. I look at the lack of free throw attempts as a key indicator. Because the funny thing about getting to the charity strike, you have to earn it. You have to put your body in harm's way and be physically willing to take the hit. Right now, one team's playing aggressively and the other team isn't. That's the big difference in the score. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. Welcome back to Denver, everyone. Traffic coming in and out of downtown Denver on this lovely night in the Rockies. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. So for New Orleans right now, Bulldozer is out there with Hayes. Then it's Ball, then it's Holiday, and it's Ingram and at the small forward. Porter finds Millsap, and it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Down low, it's picked off. Yeah, tough entry pass. You want to kick the ball down low, but you have to be crafty about how you do it. Pass the ball. To the paint. And Ball slams it in. Ball finishes with power. Not just going for the layup. Solid at throwing it down deep inside. Now here's Murray. He kicks to Harris. Now, here's Jokic, covered by Hayes. Pelicans trail by nine. Inside, Williamson, the pass to ball. Ingram outside. Back to ball. No good on the triple. Denver's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. To the inside, Millsap. Tries again. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And he plays bigger than his frame. Millsap a beast on the board. The Nuggets have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free-throw line in the game. That one misses for Paul Milson. Underrated coming into the league and underestimated. Millsap doesn't have any doubters anymore. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. So it's Denver now following the score by New Orleans. 
Porter kicks to Millsap. And there's the foul. It's on the bulldozer. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Millsap finds Jokic. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. And it's slammed in by Millsap. Well, all right. Paul Millsap looking bouncy tonight. Pelicans trail by 11. To the middle. Millsap with the steal. Harris against Holiday. Harris dishes to Murray. Back to Harris. Six to shoot. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Harris has got 13. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, well some have nicknamed center Nikola Jokic the Joker and he does have a lighthearted approach. He said, this is not a job. I'm enjoying the game like a game of pickup basketball in my hometown. That's the mentality. No pressure. It's just a game. He feels that staying calm helps him succeed. Kevin? Thanks, DA. Harris against Holiday. Puts it up. Here's Williamson. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. 15 points for the Bulldozer. Moving it around. Eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Harris passes to Porter. Back to Harris. Holiday brings the double team. Stolen by Holiday. Passes it to Williamson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The defender took away the airspace, crowded him. That changed the shot. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Anzo Ball picks one up. And with the playmaking in Denver's front court, point guard Jamal Murray is free to hunt his shot. Very comfortable playing off the ball. First free throw is good. And you look at Jamal Murray's assist numbers, he's more like a two guard. Well, he's kind of a combo, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, but you can't have enough shooting, and he's got a quick trigger. Each one more, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And so Murray nails both of them. And Murray has it all. A deadly shooter and a remarkable penetrator. Terrific guard play. The pass to Hayes. Ingram wide open. Traps in the tray. Ingram's got 11. I mean, defensively, you have to close out harder than that. Murray against Ball. To the middle. The kick out to Porter. Back to Jokic. To the inside. And finished off by Porter. He just jumps so fast. I mean, give Porter a chance to dunk, and he doesn't think twice about it. It's tipped and out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. You start to lose focus, and it makes matters worse. And the Pelicans making a change here. Favors is checked in. Ingram.
Ingram against Porter. Hey, who got here? And it's Jokic in the corner. And again, Denver with the triple. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Ball kicks to Ingram. Feeds to Favors. Buries it down low. He's got six. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Porter looking it over to the paint. And Jokic with the basket on the assist from Porter. Jokic has got 20 points. Yeah, the onslaught continues. He's been unstoppable now for a couple of nights. The momentum is building, scoring in a bunch of ways. That's why his number keeps getting called. And for so long, it seems Derek Favors had played in a crowded front court, but still can get the job done. And Favors has shown his versatility and impact in spot minutes his whole career. Every team can use a player like Favors. He just eats up space inside and can play that tough D. Offensively, I think he'd like to get back to where he was around 2015, and hopefully he'll find the chances Take a break. to do so. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Steve, you'll remember Favors had that impressive rookie season, but he's been somewhat up and down since. He's kind of an old school power forward. Might have been an all-star 20 years ago, but nowadays the best fours can shoot from range and can defend on the perimeter. Will Barton, he's checked in for Denver. Both shots good from the strike. The former third overall pick. In the 2010 NBA draft, Derek Favors is a gifted big man and a crucial player to this team. Now here's Barton. Seven points in the game. They push it up four on three. Here's Ingram trying to find ball. He gets it to him. Favors against Jokic. Favors passes to Ingram. Six to shoot. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Millsap. Ball against Murray. Pass to Jokic. Yep, that one goes in there. Jokic has got 22 points. And each bucket at this point feels like a backbreaker. Showing no mercy. Double-digit lead and still putting it on him. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And look, you never want to see a team gut you this way. Really a good timeout. Some of this is just a matter of toughness, a willingness to play physical inside, something we're not seeing. Denver making a switch here. Grant's checked in. J.J. Reddick's checked in for New Orleans. Pelicans trail by 15. Ball kicks to Moore. To the paint, here's Williamson. Eight for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. The Nuggets leading by 13. Barton outside. Pass to Murray. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing.
and the first one drops. And so Murray nails both of them. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. More outside. Inside. And a slam dunk by Favors. He has a score-first mindset. Each one plays with a lot of poise. And that buys him time to find an open man. Now here's Barton. He's got seven. Murray with it. Six on the shot clock. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. There's three pointers off the mark. Pelicans trail by 13. Williamson, the pass to Favors. And it's sent back. Oh, oh wow. It. It's a beautiful jam. The Pelicans have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. Hernan Gomez comes in for Paul Millsap. And it's Beasley in for Murray. Well, and New Orleans also making a change. Hart's checked in. Here's Beasley. He has six. Kicks to Barton over Williamson. And Barton gets it to go on the assist by Beasley. And that's now nine points for Will Barton. And so here is New Orleans. Passes it to Williamson. The dish to Reddit. Moore outside. Here's Hart. Harden defending. Pocket six. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Reddick kicks to Hart. Just five to shoot. From the wing. And the jumper falls for him. Now here's Beasley. The floater. And the rejection by Favors. The long reach of Favors have a real end. Oh! Yes. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. And that last replay, courtesy of the Under Armour Hover Havoc, unleashing a little bit of chaos. Here's Hernan Gomez, following the score by New Orleans. Barton outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. No good from Grant. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Trailing here by eight. And the Pelicans get it back. There's the pass to Williamson. Wide open. Couldn't capitalize. The open mid-range jump shot. He knows he has to hit that one. Grant. That's good. Strong move at the rim. Overpowers the smaller defender. Pelicans trail by 10. And here is Moore. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Outside, Reddick. Pocket six. He dishes it to Favors. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Love the gritty work inside from Favors. When he's down there, it makes the defense very nervous. This is his second trip to the free throw line. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Good shot. The 
first one falls. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Murray's checked in for the Nuggets. And New Orleans also making a change. Drew Holiday's checked in for each one more. And so Favors nails both of them. And here are the Nuggets now. They're leading by eight. Murray against Reddick. Murray outside. Six on the shot clock. And the foul on Drew Holiday. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And he makes the first. And right now at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Hayes, he's checked in for the bulldozer. Good on both. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. And Reddick kicks to Holiday. Pass to Hayes. Back to Holiday. Shoots over Burton. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Holiday. So often, Drew creates with the ball in his hands. This time, the play is created for him. Now, here's Barton. He's got 11. Hernan Gomez finds Barton. Favors against Plumley. Barton surveying the floor. Pass to Hernan Gomez. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Hayes has got his fourth rebound in this one. Reddick against Murray. Launches a three. They grab their own miss. And that one's good by Favors. You love the effort of Favors. On the glass, he's a scrappy player who comes away with second chance opportunities for his club. Now here's Murray. 41 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's the floater. Martin from outside. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Nice stroke from long range. And if he keeps getting those opportunities, he better take them. Holiday against Barton. Here's Hart and Favors has it in the corner. To the middle. Here's Hayes. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. I like to see that. Taking it up strong in traffic. Murray outside. Here's Hernan Gomez. He knocks wow. it down right at the buzzer. That's a shot he'll never forget. Uh -oh. As dramatic as they uh -oh. come. A thrilling way to finish this one. Mm, mm, mm. And so it's the Denver Nuggets in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll return shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And so Holiday will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. 
So on the floor for Denver, Harris and Barton, the two wings. Pumbly out there with Grant, and it's Murray in at the point guard position. Here's Favors. He feeds it to Hayes. The shot from the low post is good. Hayes has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for New Orleans. Denver leading by seven. Murray left side. Harris dishes to Grant. Harris outside. He kicks it to Plumlee. It's good. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Man, both teams scoring at a higher rate here down the stretch. You know what? It's all about the offense. Decisive and prolific. Fun duel to watch. Now here is Holiday. Right wing. Here's Hart. And it's Denver with the rebound. Murray kicks to Barton. Reddick against Murray. The feed to Plumlee. That shot is off. Pelicans trail by nine. Here's Holiday. Here's Hayes. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Punishing the smaller man inside. Just good fundamental basketball. Murray, the pass to Barton. This is to Grant. Barton against Holiday. Here's Plumlee. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That free throw missing. Paul Millsap is checked in for Denver. Porter comes in for Will Barton. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Lonzo Ball comes in for J.J. Reddick. So he comes up empty, missing both. Pelicans trail by seven. Ball with it, now guarded by Murray. Offensive rebound, Favors, pass the ball. For three, Ingram gets in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Murray kicks to Porter. Plumley in the high post, Millsap left side. Great tee that time from Favors. The Pelicans have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Holiday against Murray. And it's Mason Plumley with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Jokic has checked in for Plumley. The bulldozer, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Here's Williamson, feeds to Holiday. It counts, and the foul. It's on Gary Harris. When Holiday's feeling good, he causes plenty of these, able to power through contact and finish. Find the lanes, find the lanes. One shot. Free throw, good, Holiday. And you know, Drew Holiday sometimes gets overlooked in the discussion of great point guards, but only because there's so much competition at that position. Now here's Murray to the middle. That's good from Porter on the assist by Murray. Murray's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. 
Ball against Murray. Ingram outside. Right side Holiday. Six on the shot clock. The pass the ball. To tie it up. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Holiday against Harris. Pass to Jokic. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. 14 feet away. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Now it's a five-point Denver lead. The Pelicans have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Here's Ingram. That one doesn't go. Ice D from Porter. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Denver. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Murray against Ball. Kicks it to Holiday. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's foul number two for him. Nuggets on D. It's a five-point game. And the shot is good. The defense late to react. A beautiful play we just saw. Denver's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. To the wing on the left. Back to Harris. Down low. Ingram with the steal. To the inside. Williamson powered down with both hands. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Mm. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. That could be a game changer. That jam just sent shockwaves through the arena. Jokic gets to Harris. Just four to shoot. Holiday with the block. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Oh! It's a great dunk. Freakish. Yes. Athletically. Unbelievable play. Wow. Oh, going vertical and getting nasty that, on that one. That slam, Greg, was one to behold. We'll remember that big one. He leaped off the ground and threw that down with some real ferocity. Wow! It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Murray's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Porter. They grab their own miss. Yep, that one goes. 13 points for Paul Millsap. The big thing is that Millsap is attacking, trying to make plays for this team. Ball against Murray. Now here's Ingram. He's tightly guarded and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And Ingram, the, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better. The second free throw, good. He wanted to get his team the lead, and even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. Holiday against Harris. Out to the right wing. Jokic against Holiday. Outside for Murray. Jokic trying to free himself up, and there's Murray on the assist by Jokic. 14 points for Jamal Murray. Murray is so deadly with the catch and shoot, Jay. When the D isn't playing up on him, he has no problem going right up with it. Now here's Ingram. 
and it's sent back by Jokic. Murray outside. Down low, Porter. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Now it's a five-point nugget lead. I mean, really intelligent at using the pick and roll. I, I love how Porter reads the defense and it just takes what's available. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. And so here's Denver, following the score by New Orleans. Back to Murray. To the inside, and Jokic slams it in. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. Pelicans trail by five. Ball, the pass to Williamson. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Pass the ball. And A's kicks to ball. Hits it from three-point range. And no doubt the release point is a bit unorthodox in terms of Ball's shooting technique. But man, can he slingshot it home from deep. Now here is Harris. Murray outside. Ingram comes with the double team. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his third foul of the game. Now, here's Porter. He's guarded closely. For three, Harris. Another three for Denver. When you see the vision from Paul Billsap, that's another area that he provides for his team. This is it to Williamson. To the middle. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. 32 points for the Bulldozer. He has flat out dominated this quarter, hitting shots at will. Yet they still find themselves behind. And the pass to Millsap. Murray outside. Offline with his three. I mean, he's struggling, hitting a low percentage of his shots this quarter. Here's Holiday. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And now just a one-point nugget lead. Denver's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Murray surveying the D. Jokic kicks to Harris. Outside, Porter. Shot clock at five. Jokic. And it's Williamson with the rebound. The Bulldozers got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And they take the lead. And that's now 24 points for Drew Holiday. Not the flashiest guy most of the time. Holiday prefers to just get down to business, especially when the game is tight. Jokic high post. Right side, Porter. It's over Ingram. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. on the first and that ties the game up. And so he's good on both free throws. And that gives them the lead. Danny Bear, once he got the opportunity to get to the line and take the lead, you have got to convert. Harris against Holiday. Down low. Here's Ball. 
And again, New Orleans with the triple. <laughs> and Ball is not going to back down in these moments. In fact, he embraces being the man when it's a big possession. Now here's Murray. Shot from 16. There's the steal. Williamson, the pass to Howard. Inside, and he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The lead is really kicking down on those sort of plays. On the free throw, no good. One sixteen left in the fourth quarter of this one. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from Harris. The Nuggets trail by four. To the inside. Here's Jokic. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Well, that is NBA level right there. It's the way the game is supposed to be played. Guys competing at the highest level. Just active defensively here, being extremely disruptive. You know, I love the effort just to get a hand in there. He is disrupting the offensive flow. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. That could be costly. When the game is hanging in the balance, the last thing you can afford is to turn it over. Denver calls timeout. They trail by two. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's present our Jordan player of the game, the Bulldozer. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick is going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls get into the basket. We have to give it all right now, Kevin. Now, here's Jokic. And it's Williamson with the rebound. And you know they wanted that one to go down. They could have tied it up. That was a huge opportunity they missed. Absolutely no fear in this young fella. When the game is close, you want the ball in ball's hands. Jokic, it falls! And he has brought them to within two points. He has great instincts on the offensive end. He's tough to contain. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It's the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the one, and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. Denver calls timeout. They're trailing by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the game.
There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Murray kicks to Jokic. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Ball. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. Yeah, I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room Ball has to throw when you factor in how efficient he is already. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. And Denver has possession. And whatever play they run has to be quick. And with time working against them, even if they make it, they need to foul right away. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And he is unable to get the second one. Outside, Porter. Murray outside. So New Orleans wins it. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Giroux, congrats on the win. Everything seemed to start working in the second half. What changed for you? Um, I think we just picked it up in the fourth quarter. I mean, uh, they were kind of there the whole time, but in the fourth quarter, we really, uh, you know, rev it up. Great to see you back on the court, Giroux. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. For David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.